Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I got a little bit of time to do some ultralight fishing. I'm at a remote mountain, beautiful stream. Uh, actually, it's not that remote. It's right in the middle of town. <laughs> and it's a very uh, fish, very fish place, a very populated area. And, um, but we're still gonna do some fishing because there's good fish in here. So um, I got meeting my buddy Reed. He, we had a few hours of fish. I got my ultralight rod and we're going down here, this awesome river right in the middle of town and do some fishing. Fish on! What I got? Man, it's jumping, must be a small one. Oh yeah! Just what we're looking for. A little small mouth right there. Okay, all right, all right. Like yeah. Got it. <laughs> Number two. I, I saw this fish in there and I cast it and a little one came and hit it. There's a lot of little fish in here. I know people catch big ones here too, but I'm just kind of a last minute thing to decide to come do. Dude, it's, I didn't know there was, this is a nice spot. Uh, you could kayak and fish this. There's a nice little pool down here. Oh, there we go, there we go. He's at the back of the pool. Tree little one. Wearing out the little ones. All right, I'm just going for some little, little Tennessee smallies. A little mountain stream in the middle of town. A mountain stream in the middle of town. Uh, it's a crazy place. All right. So that little current, big rock calm spot in the middle. There has to be a fish there, right? It's like textbook where fish are sitting. And I think it is. We'll give it another try. Well, I always gotta be there, I guess. Oh, he was there, he was there. Okay, it took me a, a few tries. He was more at the bottom, I think, in the right on the edge of the current. He came out and hit it. So there was a fish there, just I wasn't put it in the right spot for the first three or four casts. Oh. There he is, there he is. Took me a while to work on him. He's standing that current, giving this ultralight a fit. Oh yeah. Well, 
it's easy to have a spot that you know you're confident in. You can kind of fish them over and over. Kind of gives you more confidence to fish that spot more. Just another little uh, seven inch smaller. Oh, now I'm caught up with somebody else's line. What's that? A little smally, and I got something. What's going on here? Hang on in. Something's kind of long. I tried to tell Reed to come down here. He won't do it. I told you to come down here and fish. Quit sticking back there. Alright, alright, alright. God. Karen, you can lead people to water, but you can't help them catch fish. <laughs> well, not, nothing big today, but it's funny to just catch a bunch of these guys. There's lots, there's two and three pounders like living in these holes, some of these holes. There it is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Those little guys, even they're a little to fight like crazy. Yep. There we go. Woo. He just decides that, okay, I'll eat it. There we go. I kept getting bites over there. There's the, what is that? Yeah, yeah. There's the rock bass. Nice. Oh, there we go. Catch monkey, but I never saw one. Yeah. I knew if there, had, if there was one, there had to be another. There's another rock bass. <laughs> Catch something in front of that big rock right there. Yeah. I have to let it sink really slow. They're not being, uh, Really aggressive coming out and hitting. I thought they'd be a lot more like energetic, yeah. but they'll bite if it sits in front of them. We gotta fish down below that pool before we leave. We just got, got it. We'll go down there and fish that one, then come back out. Yeah. All right, come on, move on. Oh, oh man, look, there's three, there's three or four smallmouth right here. I want to see if I can look at them. Oh, we got a little one coming. <laughs> I catch these little ones, but I can't get the big ones to hit. Look at that little guy. Oh. Hold on, mister. Give me the baby smiley. Oh yeah! Oh, I just got a big one. A big one. Holy cow, where'd this guy come from? I watched him come eat it. I gotta get a picture of this one. Holy cow, where'd this come from? I told you they were in here. They're just hiding in these rocks and they just come out of nowhere. Holy cow. Oh man, that's a nice fish, <laughs> a super nice fish. Oh yes. <laughs> Dude, oh. that is a nice smallie. Holy crap. Well, I fished and caught one right there and I had a bite here. I just threw over there and this guy just comes out and follows it. Really nice fish right there. That's a good uh, 14, 15 inch chunky small. <laughs> well, we've been fishing out here for, you know, not a long time, but a little while. Bunch of little fish. I switched to this with a little bit more, uh, this little pile diver and it pulls out a good fish. And this has done it a few times where I've used this lure and for some reason, all of a sudden I get a little bit bigger fish when I'm just, especially when I'm fishing for anything. Oh, that guy come out and get it. Oh, I think it's a 
What is that? Bluegill? Oh, it's a nice bluegill. Wow. That's a beautiful bluegill. That's the first sunfish I've seen. That's a nice one. Holy moly. Man, that's a nice, that's a really nice bluegill. Oh yeah? Really? Oh, oh, there's another one. <laughs> you got some air. You got some air there. Don't worry, hurry. I'll get you back in there. Oh, one more. Oh, maybe not. I was about to head back. About here. A couple of hours, not real long time. Just covered a little bit of water, caught a bunch of fish. Let's see if I can get one more. Oh, there we go. I got him out of time. All right, I missed him, came back for it. Did he come off again? No, he's still on there. It's just a little one. All right, that's probably gonna end it out right there. All right. Graceful release right there. Ooh. Oh, it just broke off. Oh, it's a little one. Well, I guess that's going to end it. All the rocks down there. Now what I know what a lure feels like. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Reed, uh, this guy's got his priorities right. He's moving from Wisconsin to Florida, right? Uh, Indiana. Indiana to Florida, and he has to stop by and you know fish on the way while he's in the middle of his move. So, man, we only we were out here like two hours at uh, max, caught a bunch of fish. I hadn't fished this stretch of the river. I've been here before and fished it a few times, but I never fished this stretch. Caught a bunch of good smallmouth, threw one good smallmouth in there, big old bluegill. Just a great time. This is a heavy populated area. A lot of people fish it, but there's a lot of fish in here to catch, and it actually is a really good place to come catch with smallmouth, especially if you're staying nearby and uh, gonna be here anyway. Just bring an ultralight rod or bring any kind of rod and get out here and do a little fishing. Thanks for watching.